Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Main Event Interviews. My name, of course, is Main Event. Tonight, we're visiting with Rest 100. Welcome to the show. What's good? What's good? Happy to be here, man. Now, tell us whereabouts in the world you are this evening. Uh, right now, I reside in Kentucky, oh, uh, close to Ohio, Cincinnati. All right, cool. So Kentucky here in the U.S. I believe you're the first person from Kentucky to be on the show. So I'm slowly getting somebody from every state, it seems like, <laughs> and all over the world, of course. But all right, so Kentucky, very cool. And how long have you been on Steam It? Uh, man, I've been on Steam It since... Just yeah. roughly. Roughly, I would say, I mean, June-ish, June, July-ish. Okay, cool. Uh, I myself just joined in May, so I'm just right before you. Uh, seemed like that's a must have been a time when a ton of people joined Steam. It was like May and June. It seemed like that's when a lot of people jumped on. Uh, yeah. Wh yeah. What about? Uh, excuse me. What brought you to the platform? How did you find out about Steam? It. Um, I was actually referred to the platform from a close friend of mine um, who was also on the platform himself, uh, Johnny Clearwater. He actually. Um, seen my grind as far as the music was concerned because i do a lot of music recording promotion of parties uh club events um you name it like anything music related i usually have my hand in it and he noticed like the intense promotion and effort that i put into facebook twitter instagram etc cetera, etc cetera. and he was like man maybe you should bring that to the steaming platform you know and i mean i was a bit skeptical and I really didn't have nothing to lose because I mean I'm just doing the same thing basically for free with the other platforms absolutely no that's awesome and so that's great that you're bringing a lot of that promotional ability and talent over to steam it because that of course will not only reflect in your blog but I'm sure you'll interact with other steam it users and help them out as well oh yeah absolutely I mean I've, I've been doing so you know I've, I felt like you know, uh, for new users coming to the platform, kind of overwhelmed by seeing different things. I definitely offered a lot of helping hands. Um, I mean, me and uh, our close buddy through Steemit, you know, we actually developed this friendship through Steemit, uh, Mr. Viquez. You know, we had we shared the common denominator of uh, music. And, you know, through that, like I said, we had a real friendship through Steemit. And we actually uh, have a Steemit 101 class you know, it's basically a guide for beginners. You know, we offer the classes periodically when everybody can uh, collaborate on the time frame. And basically, as we see as like maybe rookies and all stars to the Steemit platform because of the small duration or time that we've been in here, and yet and still the strategy that we use to put ourselves out there to get the high ranks on the platform, the high payouts on a post, you know, we just throw things out there and, you know, it's, it's kind of like fishing. Somebody will grab it. Absolutely. And so you're doing a lot of things uh, music related on your blog. Is that what you primarily are focusing on or do you kind of blog about various topics too? I mean, I do an array of things. I write, a, I wrote a few movie scripts and I've been releasing scenes at a time via my uh, Steam it page. Uh, I do motivational speaking for people who, you know, struggle at the bottom and can't kind of see life as that half full theory as opposed to the half empty theory. So, and then at the same time, um, I let people in on my own personal life, whether it be with my children and things like that, because I'm, I'm very private when it comes to social media, like outside of Steam, it, like Steam it has been the most transparent platform for me because I actually see value in what I'm sharing with my fan base. And I want to say that I'm the first artist or steamian, whatever you want to consider me, to actually blog my, my wife's pregnancy and her birth of our daughter, you know? So I've done a lot of firsts on the platform. And I think I've, I was easily willing to show that I'm, I'm not afraid you know, to make my life transparent. And that's very cool. And so that's interesting. So Steam It really was the thing that made you want to open up like that, right? Right. And, you know, I mean, I could have easily done all of this on Facebook or whatever like that. But, you know, I, I never I never seen the value 
in doing that or putting my family's business out there like that. You know, I'm, I'm a very private person, but, you know, when I look at Steam It not as a get rich quick scheme, I look at it as a, this is a savings account that I never would have even thought of. And all I have to do is post my day to day activities and my thoughts and everything else like that. And I'm basically setting up a 401k for my kids. I've got over 2,300 tokens in Steam alone just from posting since June or July. And it's like my ideology behind it is in some years, this is going to be worth much more than what it's worth now. And the benefit of me just simply posting on this website is going to secure a future for my children. Yeah, that's a great way to look at it. I mean, and hopefully that's true. You know, of course, we are not financial experts by any means, but, you know, that's I totally see it the same way. I mean, I'm slowly accruing some steam and some steam dollars and things like that, and I'm just going to kind of let it sit there and let it grow and, you know, try to help other people. If I can with it, maybe we'll share it or, or try to at least share my votes, of course, and, and things like that once I power up and everything. And so... You know, Steam it's amazing in that regard because you're you're not only putting your own content out there too, but you can also help other people, right? That was a big thing for me. Like I'm a moderator in the Steam Speak chat room, you know, not because I knew anybody in there personally, but because I was willing to exert myself in a way that not only represented Steam it, but gave the the platform sort of a a standard. You know, like we're not willing to accept bullshit and we'll collectively group up on you if you decide to post content that's copywritten or post content that's not suitable for the people that we see as investors and consumers. Where do you see the platform going? Do you think it's going to stick around for a while? I think the platform, I mean, with the simple fact that we, we can basically do everything that we're doing on Facebook here. It's, it's an easy transition for the consumer to come here. I do believe that a lot of the other social media platforms will adopt a similar payout structure for people posting content. Will they do it anytime soon? I don't know, but I do see the benefit of getting involved in this very early on because like Bitcoin, it might not be worth shit to begin with, but look at it now. No, absolutely. I mean, it's it's totally amazing, and it's, you know, hopefully in, in the years to come, it's only going to get bigger and better. And like you said, I kind of agree. I think it's only a matter of time before the other platforms and just really everything in general. If blockchain and, and currencies like these, these digital currencies, eventually become the mainstream, who knows where it could go after that? Absolutely. So do you have some projects that you're working on with on Steemit or you know your your music or things like that that you want to talk about on the show? Uh, in fact, I mean literally six hours ago we just announced uh, the first uh, one of the first steam block truly steam blockchain record labels, which is called Five Star Entertainment Group. And uh, you know we have uh, a few artists under the uh, the label as it stands now. But like I said, it was just announced six hours ago. I shared the post on my uh, wall. It gives full detailed information about the plans and moving forward with the label. And, you know, it's, it's really inspired by the blockchain. Like, we don't want to have a slave-based system to where, well, we give you this amount of money or X amount of this, and then we own you for this amount of time or whatever you put out there, we deserve a high percentage. You know, like, we truly believe in giving... Uh, you know, uh, sort of a, a rough regiment of different artists who come to the table and meet the qualifications, a shot at putting their music out there and getting immediate whale attention. Like, we've made connections. We've, we've got, like, daily contact with a few whales associated with the steaming platform. And I'm talking about guys who are in the top 20 as far as investors. They want to see something like this work. They believe in people like me, Mr. Viquez, uh, Marco, I mean, uh, Young Mark, OG, and uh, Crystal Rose. So, you know, like, we're the, we're the starting artists under this free-formatted blockchain 
uh, record label, and it's really it's really designed to help the inspired artists and not the artists already looking to open their wallet and get free promotion and stuff like that. Like we're really looking for the hardworking, talented, unrecognized artists. And that's very cool. And so I was just looking at your blog, and so that username is it's just five star group, all one word, right? Correct. So yeah, if you're anybody's interested in that, he said it's a Esteem It exclusive uh, music label, right? So uh, what type of music uh, are you doing on the label? I mean, I mainly uh, cover hip hop, but like we are welcoming any genre. Period. You know, uh, as far as we know, we are the hardest working hip hop artists to hit the Esteem It platform, and we stuck together in our little group here. That we all just met in the Steam Speak Discord chat room, and we all managed to connect. We all got involved in different contests, and we all just saw a bigger picture than just jumping through hoops to win SBD every week in a contest where you're aggressively going against another, you know, talented artist for somebody else's entertainment. When truly that's unfair. Like we're over here entertaining whales and everything like that, and literally getting peanuts based on a first to third place rating. And it's like, we know whales. Why can't we get whales to back a project like this? Why why can't we get whales to get every song that we put out there worthy to be posted on the record labels blog uh, in the trending category? There's no reason. So why do we have to sit here and cut each other's throats to get that? And, you know, uh, a challenge of some sort or a competition. It's not fair to the struggling artist that you become somebody else's laughter if you lose a battle or something like that. Yeah, I agree, especially in these early stages of of Steam it, and especially if you're trying to to keep it in that genre of you know the blockchain and and all that type of thing. And uh, you know, it's good to work together. I feel like at this point in the evolution of the blockchain and Steam it and just everything, everybody needs to kind of stick together and not fight because I believe in the long run most of us are like-minded as far as where we want things to go with steam it uh you know we want it to succeed and yeah some people do get caught up with just the competition side of it you know they get jealous or things like that exactly and and the the main factor in all that is money and that creates a problem because like you said we want to show a form of unity and structure here i mean hell we're less than half a million users, and we have to be the core base that we are basically the guinea pigs of how they want to steer this in the future. Now, if we're at each other's throats with pick for, pitchforks for like mm-hmm. five bucks, I mean, at the end of the day, like we don't want it to be about the money. We want to let artists know that you can get noticed out there if you have the talent, and you'll be rewarded accordingly. You don't have to struggle through the ranks. You don't have to struggle becoming a high-ranking member on Steam. And if you have talent and you want to be exposed, trust me, we are all available, easy to contact, easy to reach out to, and all personable. Very cool. And so, that again, that's the five-star group, right? That's where you'd like people to go uh, take a look at that if they're interested? Yeah, yeah. And they have the intro post with everybody associated with the label on there. So you're more than willing to reach out to any of us if you look on any of our posts. We all, at the bottom of our post, put the uh, Discord chat rooms we're associated with. So you can definitely look us up on Discord and everything like that and reach out to us or leave a comment on a post. We'll reach out to you, whatever. Like I said, if you got talent and is worthy of being seen by whales or being supported and being put it on the trending page, come holla at us. Are there any Steam It users you want to give a shout out to? Maybe anybody who's helped you in the early days of your Steam It career here or, or just anybody you interact with on a regular basis that you want to give a shout out to? Oh yeah, for sure. I definitely want to give a shout out to Mr. Viquez. You know, that's been like my right hand during all of my Steam It adventure. You know, even though I came to the table with talent, he definitely took me into his little, you know, up and coming crew and you know, accepted it for what it was, talent. And uh, I like to definitely give a shout out to young OG Marks, you know, as uh, my man's too, you know, from day one, ever since I stepped on the platform. Uh, definitely want to give a shout out to Johnny Clearwater. Want to give a shout out to Young Fuego, my brother. He's also on Steam It. 
And, uh, you know what I mean, my whole team, you, you'll definitely see them supporting my stuff, re, re, po- re steaming, everything like that. So, you know, everybody associated with team, definitely shout out to Steam Speak, First Sticking. You know, they definitely, they'll take you in as you are as long as you come real. So, you know, I respect all of them. They, they are very wealthy as far as on the platform and, you know, in their own bank account. So and they give us the time of day in there. They give us advice. They give us, you know, foresight. Very, very knowledgeable people. And you just got to have thick skin to deal with them. But once you get past the BS, you learn a lot. Very cool. All right. Well, yeah, I like to give everybody that chance to give a little shout out to everybody, especially if they're maybe out there listening. Uh, again, we're visiting with Rest 100 here on the show from the United States. And what other things do you have maybe planned or in the works for, for Steam? Do you have anything else you want to mention other than the, the five star group stuff? Right now, that's been our main focus. I did start uh, basically a yeah, networking channel, uh, Steam Network Vision. Uh, it's been on hiatus right now because I've been on uh, a move. But once I get my equipment back set up, we'll definitely look forward to uh, posting when our next broadcast will be. Uh, but other than that, I vlog every day, man. I'm always trying to give positive inspirations, especially right before I start work because starting out your day bad, you're going to end it even worse. So I try to start on a good note every day. Well, that's a very good plan, and I and I like that Steam. It seems to be the thing that's made you open up more, and that's interesting to me because I sort of feel the same way with myself. I'm still progressing it into that, um, but I'm you know this radio show is kind of part of that, and things like this, and uh, Steam. It certainly is the reason, and I I think it's fascinating how this platform is doing that for people. Uh, so. I, I, is there anything you want to mention about that as far as for advice for new users out there that, uh, you know, or, or just words of wisdom, if there's any new people out there listening, what they should do to, you know, help themselves on, on Steam it? Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, definitely you want to open up that line of communication, whether it be through Discord or another chat. I mean, I've mainly used Discord since day one. I've never used anything else. But... All I can tell you is if you happen to create something, and it may not be right away, you may have to jump through a couple of hoops to get noticed, but if you happen to get noticed by a whale and you happen to open up a line of communication, like, don't try and be thirsty. Like, you need to create, you need to look at your Steam page as your business. A whale associated with you see something worthy of reward or worthy of continual support. So once you've already captured that attention from a whale, just continue to do what you're doing because overexerting yourself can do the exact opposite. But if you stay on the steady stream, like I said, Steam it made me open up more because I saw the value in the transparency of my life because I have a bigger vision for what I plan to do with this. So as far as I'm concerned, I'll power it up. I don't have nothing to lose. Even if it crashes tomorrow, what did I lose? I didn't lose anything. I didn't put anything into it other than my personal life. And for what it's worth, it's worth pretty damn much as far as I'm concerned. Yep, I, that's a great way to look at it. You know, it is, some would say, oh, it's just your time, you know, or whatever that you put into it. But, you know, it's your it's your thoughts and it's your, your energy and your passion and things like that. So I think it's just great for everybody that is finding Steemit, that they're able to use it as an outlet for their talents, their hobbies, uh, just their daily life everything and people are making connections and friendships and who knows uh, and it's really incredible what's happening and I really hope it continues to grow and I, I think that's fascinating what you're doing with your record label on there and I really hope you guys are successful with that are there any those people you mentioned earlier were any of those the artists or did you have any of the artists that you maybe wanted to mention from the the record label well there are there are artists and uh high-ranking associates as well. So we're all okay. pretty much on like a, a board of directors kind of seating. 
we'll be watching for you guys to see if we get some uh, more people on your on your label there that are they're different Steam It musicians and things like that. I'll try to keep an eye out if I run across any uh, music people in my curation duties and things like that. Are there any other closing things you'd like to mention on the show, just to to put out there for your for your own blog or or anybody else or anything? Like I said, man, I, I vlog every day about my own personal life, uh, about you know trials and tribulations and motivational speaking, and every now and again you'll get a glimpse of my other talents. But for now, I mean, it's just been put in my mind that like I'm I got to get in more hours at work. So I can just put in a little bit extra towards, you know, this future savings account. I mean, I'm I'm not going to do nothing but burn the money anyway. So why not put it into something that's going to have potential in the future? All right. Well said. Well, again, everybody, we've been visiting today with Rest 100. You can find him on Steemit. It's just R-E-S-T, the number one, zero, zero. And thank you so much for being on the show today. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate coming through.